Hi, my name is Melvin, and I'm a rising sophomore majoring in CS at Vanderbilt University. This summer I've been working on Netsblocks, which is a visual programming environment based on Snap that allows users to communicate with each other, as well as the Netsblocks server. To demonstrate how Netsblocks can be used, I created a simple app of a running dog that runs continuously on a horizontal plane. On the left is a Windows PC connected to the Netsblocks server via Ethernet. In the middle is an iPad connected to the Netsblocks server via cellular data. And on the right is a MacBook connected to the Netsblocks server via Wi-Fi. And the, and the server itself is run in the Amazon Cloud Service. The blocks for this app are fairly straightforward. The way it is currently set up, there are three roles in the room, with the room being how different roles or users can communicate with each other in Nets blocks. They are named from left to right as A, B, and C. Each role has basically the same blocks, except for role A, which is this one, because it has an extra block to start the app, as can be seen here. Because of this setup, it is really easy to add more space to the horizontal plane. I will show you how to do this later. As for the blocks themselves, you can see that they are pretty simple. Starting with this roll, roll A, clicking the green flag right here, starts the running dog. The animation is done by cycling through different costumes. As the dog moves across the plane, it continuously keeps track of its position with this block right here. As soon as it, re as it reaches an x a certain x coordinate, in this case, 155, it sends a message, which in Nets blocks is how you communicate with different roles, and this message contains which costume frame the dog is currently in. As the next role receives this message, which can be seen by this block right here, it prepares for the dog to be seen on its screen by switching to the costume frame that was given in the message and positioning itself at the leftmost part of its screen completely hidden. The reason that the message is sent at 155 and not when the dog is off the screen at 310 is because when the message, message is received from the neighboring role, the dog is just starting to emerge in the leftmost part of the screen as opposed to just appearing completely. This gives the visualization of continuous movement. This cycle goes on indefinitely, with role C, or the rightmost screen, sending its message back to role A to begin another cycle. To add another screen to the horizontal plane, all you'd have to do is clone the rightmost role, which is in this case, role C. Rename it, and then change role C or the, ro the role that you cloned to send its message to the newly created role, which in this case is role D.